Welcome back everyone. In this episode we're going to be working on the hangar bay and starting on the botanical gardens. Okay, so we got the photo itch uh, pieces here um, that I'm going to be applying first. <clears throat> All the railings, hand railings, and everything else will be going on. And uh, um, the cross beams that go along the tops, along the edges here. Actually, I should probably put the deckling on first. And then do that after yeah, it it, uh, it would save on a lot of headache. Now uh, to apply the photo etch here, I got this other glue here made for metal and plastic. Uh, since that's what the photo etching is, just uh, metal, tiny little itty bitty metal things. So uh, first things last, what I'm going to do is uh, apply all the decals. <clears throat> now, one thing I'm going to look at here is you can see the uh, shiny outline on these. I have to cut these as close to the actual decal that I can because uh, the shininess parts here are going to get in the way and prevent me from getting the decals directly down inside of each section where they're supposed to go. So, i got to paint painstakingly cut each one of those off just lightly not all the way through the paper because I still need something to grab onto with the tweezers just so the the outer edge here will be cut off and uh, apply those uh, for for like these larger sections here that's it's really not a big deal but just the small ones here <clears throat> Very gently cut through the outer edge. I want these as close as I can get it. Okay, so those are ready to go now. Just got to drench them in the water and I can apply them. Now I use hot water and for this, use a little bit of soft soap. Just a little dab is all you need. It helps with the adhesion. These decals are going to work. They're all curling up. Bloody hell. Well, I'll try what I can. These decals aren't uh, exactly the best on the market, but they're, they're all curling up and that makes things a lot more difficult. Um, hmm. Um, 
And you know what? They're not going to work. So, um, <clears throat> what I got to do is um, I got fine, uh, very fine markers. I'm going to put the designs on there by hand. Um, and that's all I can do. Hopefully these bigger ones here aren't going to be so uh, difficult. These are useless to me. Just for the simple fact that they're they're curling up and you it's next to impossible to get them to uncurl. Okay, I gotta get my uh, pen set. Okay, so I got these. Actually, I went to wish.com and got this whole brand new set. So I got, uh, let's see, uh, 0 0.05. That's the smallest. That's pretty tiny. That should work just fine. Basically, it's just uh, cross hatching corner to corner. And then center line down the center. So just like that. Looks like it's going to work. And then uh, later on, um, seal that in with uh, a Dell coat. go looks good okay now let's um get on with uh applying these okay i'm gonna start with number seven and nine <clears throat> those are the ones that go along this part of the lower deck here ones go on underneath here very very delicate Looks good. I'll clean that up a little bit later. Uh, the ribs are on there. Now I'm just going to put on the um, the railings. That's next. There we go. Got it all done. All the railings. So everything all done there. Even got the elevator uh, turbo lifts there. It's done. Okay. Now, I'm going to move on to uh, applying the uh, decals to these other, uh, uh, the flooring here on both sides. And get ready to start putting it all together. Decals are horrible. Uh, 
Okay, uh, well, I did my best. I'll have to do some repair work. And I'm telling you, these are... These turned out pretty shitty. The, the decals that came with this small kit are junk. Okay, well, I got them repaired up as best I could. Okay, now let's get these put together. I'm going to start with the front part of the landing bay. So these here sections go on first. Let's get that done. this just because it's the type of plastic that these are 3d printed with the normal glue won't work this this plastic is extremely brittle This is all done, so um, I'm gonna have to um, um, paint all the exterior with chrome silver, uh, just for the simple fact the light still shines through the plastic. So uh, you know, uh, except for the areas where the windows and the lighting grid is. Uh, the rest of this is going to be painted silver to keep the light from shining in. <clears throat> um, and then I'll be adding lights to the exterior here to be able to light up the side windows. And there'll be uh, lights coming down along the spine, along the top here to light up through the windows here, the uh, lighting grid on the tops here. Uh, so first thing, let's get the uh, chrome silver on here. While that's doing that, let's get started on the botanical gardens. Okay, uh, printed out uh, the look for the botanical gardens here. Now, this is the main one here I'm going to be using because it shows all the positions of the trees, the big ones, small ones, the shrubs, and all that stuff. So that's what I'm going to be going by. Uh, this here is just to give me a layout like for the the bridges and the benches and all that stuff. Um, 
so I'm going to get some uh, two mil plastic sheet. I'm going to use that for the base and the walls. Um, then I'm going to trace out uh, the walk paths and the areas where the water, the pond is. Um, so let's do that. Okay, uh, so I got the two mil sheet here. Now, one thing I need to figure out is how wide I have to make it. the base like the base itself will pretty much uh, be sitting on these so what I need to do is I need to measure from the center here to the bottom where the base is gonna go like on here The width here is just right, actually, because it goes just past the windows on either side. Or maybe this one. Okay, where are the windows showing on that on here? Okay, so the walls come just past the windows on either side. That might be a little too wide there. So in here, that side will fit beautifully. Now, I just need to measure <clears throat> from the center. So from about here. So it's about one and a half centimeters. So it'll be three centimeters wide in total then. Okay. So three centimeter base pretty much just takes this section here up. Actually, let's make it just a little bit longer. Just, okay. Because uh, I'm making it a little bit longer than three centimeters because on here, on the very edge, I have to shave it on an angle to fit with the hull as it slowly wraps up and around. That's why I make this, the top here, just a little bit longer. Just a wee bit longer. So, right from the cut line there, I've got to cut that off. You know what? I'm going to make it even longer. It's better to have it a little too long, because I can adjust it later. So, I'm going to make it... Three and a half centimeters which is about uh, almost one and a half inches. And then I can adjust the length later when I need to. Like wires, it's better to have too much wire than not enough. All right, so I'm gonna go cut that off and shave the sides down and do a test fit. Alright, uh, what's gonna do? 
Really? I don't think that could fit any better. Looks like it was meant to go there. Looks good. Not bad. And that's why I had it longer. Yes, you never know. Okay. <clears throat> Next step. Follow the diagram here. For okay, so like diagram <clears throat> I put little waves there showing that's the water and the rest of it is just uh, the trail and foliage so now what I'm gonna do is um, take my Dremel with the appropriate bit I'm going to cut down, gouge out the area here for the water, and I'm just going to do um, just very light gouging where the trails are and stuff, so everything's marked out where what goes where. This is what I'm going to be using right there to do some gouging there in for the uh, areas here for the water. Okay, so what I'm going to do, let's see here, so I'm going to build the walls that feed on either side here. So I'm going to need this.
So I like the base of the wall, like that. That has to come. So the wall the wall on the back part of the window here is going to be a little bit longer than the one on the front since the the ship curves in so and I can always adjust the length later okay uh, I'm just going to make sure that that's high enough. Okay. Get the back wall here. Front wall. Perfect fit. All right, now um, for the top here, I got some clear plastic to put on the top, and then I'll um, I'll paint in the uh, the wiring and all that, the diagrams and all that stuff on the on the ceiling, <clears throat> so that the light can shine down into the garden area. Okay, so I got this great big sheet here. Just gonna sketch out the size that I need and then cut it out. It's a pretty big sheet here, so it's gonna be kind of awkward. And it too is a uh, two mil thick sheet. Okay. A little awkward cutting this out. Um, oh well. Hey. Looks very nice. Not bad. Not bad at all. Very nice. He's got to come back a little bit because it, it it's it's forcing the, the thing to sit up a little bit too high. Well, I just got to keep playing with it until I get it right. So it's, it's a little bit too long on the top here on this side. That's it for this episode, everyone. In the next one, we're going to finish off the installation of the Botanical Gardens and the Landing Bay. And we are going to start on the lighting. Please like, subscribe, comment, don't forget to share, and click that notification bell for any future uploads. If you have any questions or you want me to do some commission work for you, contact me at epic.models at gmail.com and please check out my website www.epicmodels.com see you all again later bye bye